Well, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to be doing tonight, we are going to compare the one inch sensor of the Panasonic FC1002, which is currently photographing me now, against the Micro Four Thirds sensor of the Olympus EM10. We're just going to see if that's that much bigger difference because the Micro Four Thirds sensor is not quite double the size of a one inch, but it's pretty close. So we're just going to see how both of them look in the same lighting conditions. And with that being said, I will see you on the other side. For this test, I'll be just walking around my hometown. It's a small town, town in the south, and this is the way it looks every night. You know, the typical small towns in the south. I'm located in Asheville, North Carolina, which means if you're watching this from another country, we're on the east coast of the United States. The FC-1002 is on the right, the Olympus, EM-10 is on the left, and both cameras are set at shutter speed 50, ISO 800, aperture F4. And what we're going to be checking, we're going to see how well they compare, not only in low light, but also the noise. How does it look in, in low light as, you know, is there a big enough difference between the micro four thirds, which is just about double the size of a half inch. Is there enough difference to make you want to move up if you have a half inch camera? I'm mean, correction, one inch camera, is there enough difference between the two? How you doing? Hey. To make you want to move up to a micro four thirds camera? And I'm just gonna walk and show you some pictures of my hometown, which I claim the fame would be. We're the home of the North Carolina State Zoo, which is one of the largest natural habitat zoos in the world. So yes, a small town with a big zoo. And also, since we're just walking and talking, what do you think about the autofocus? Both cameras are set on autofocus. What do you think? Are both of them doing really well, holding subject? Are both of them really sharp? How's this sound looks at night as compared between the Panasonic and the Olympus? Remember, the, the Micro Four Thirds is not quite double the size of a one inch, but it's pretty close. So that should really give it advantage at night. But I'm also, I'm shooting at F4 because the lens I'm using on the Olympus is a 14 to 150, F4 to 5.6. So I'm shooting, shooting at F4. But the lens on the Panasonic starts out at 2.4. Correction starts out at 2.8 and, and, and goes to 4. But I have both of them at 4 trying to make it semi-scientific. Uh, semi Obviously, if I, was, I think I was opening up the Panasonic to, to its true 2.8, you might not be able to tell any difference. But I set both of them at F4 because I want F stops to be the same, the shutter speed is the same, and the ISO the same to see you know, what kind of difference would it, would it make. And what do you think? What about image stabilization? You know, the Olympus EM10, this is the, it only has three axis image stabilization in HD. And I'm really not, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure what the FC1000 has in HD. I don't know if it's, the three axis or the five axis is just for us. Stills or it's for video. So I'm gonna let you decide which one you think is the smoothest. Well, neither one of them might be smooth. It's really hard to tell. A lot of times smoothest also depends on, you know, the person that's walking. You know, if I'm a, if I'm a very clumsy walker, regardless of what image stabilization I have, it, it might not help. As you can see, I've already been up the street once and I'm going back down just to give you a, a different view. Show you some of the buildings on the other side that are in the dark. What do you think? Well, it looks to me, just looking on the view screen, that the Olympus is brighter. But sometimes these screens will fool you, so it's hard to tell. But I think you probably are listening enough for me walking and, and, and talking. Correction, you've seen enough of me walking, probably heard enough of me talking, so I'm gonna stop and give you one more shot. And that'll be it. Well, what do you think? Who won? The Micro Four Thirds sensor? Uh, the one inch sensor of the Panasonic 1002. Leave your comments below. And also, while you're down there, 
hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. And also, hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. That motivates me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down, but just tell me why you don't like it, because that way, that'll motivate me also to go out and do more videos so you'll like them the next time. Because you know I've said all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. With that being said, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.